I have got quite an ultimate gift guide for kids and babies. I'm so excited. I'll have links and everything organized down below in the order I mention them. I have been prepping for this video and I almost didn't make it. I almost included just some kids favorites at the end of my previous gift guide that was up a couple days ago. Shameless plug, it's an Amazon gift guide for basically everything but kids. So if you wanna check that out, I'll link it below. <laughs> I honestly had so many ideas for both babies and older kids, you know, well, youngish, oldish kids. <laughs> You'll see what I mean. That I was like, I could do an entire video on this. And I don't think I've ever done this. So I'm excited. This is the first time. So I hope that you are excited as well. And let's just dive into it. I do like to mention in these link heavy videos, I do make a small commission if you purchase anything through the links that I have below or through my Amazon storefront link where I have everything categorized. Thank you ahead of time if you use them. If you don't, no big deal, no pressure. So let's start with, I'm trying to decide, do I wanna start babies or do I wanna start kids? Let's start with like kids. So I would say a lot of these things I'm gonna mention could range between like age three-ish a lot of them can range up to like eight, nine, 10. So I'm covering a wide gamut. Is that, did I use that right? But I, I mean, you'll be able to determine for yourself. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start with squigs. So these are these little like rubber squishy things that will kind of suction onto anything, um, tables, sides of tables, whatever. And they're fun because they can also suction to each other. So you can like build little things and they're just kind of fun to play with. I find when we're playing with them, I find myself enjoying. <laughs> so that's what I mean. This is definitely one that I think when we got them for my four-year-old Genevieve, I think she was like two and she played with them then and she still plays with them now. So it's just one of those I feel like most kids would enjoy. And of course, I think they've got all kinds of different packs. We just got like a smaller basic pack, but really really fun my thing i've definitely realized is especially now having a second kid tend to gear towards things that i can use with multiple kids uh, for multiple ages that are not such a like one-off type thing that she might play with for a few months and then be done with and or i gravitate towards consumables and i don't mean food i mean like arts and craft type things where they might use it and use it up and love it but then you you're done with it. You know what I mean? You might recycle it, whatever. Um, and of course, I've got a daughter that loves arts and crafts. So like coloring books, those things are always a hit, but we're gonna talk about some kind of different arts and craft type things. So one that she loves, and a lot of times when her cousins will be with her, they'll play with them together, are rainbow scratch art papers. And they're so fun. Again, I find myself using them and enjoying them. It comes with a lot of the pages and it comes with the little tools to scratch it off. And as you scratch the black off, the rainbow is revealed and it comes with stencils. So it's fun to just kind of trace the stencil and then you lift it up and you've got the shape. I feel like a lot of ages would enjoy this and it's just one that's always a hit. I think we're finally out of them. So I'm like, maybe that will be something she gets like a refresh of this year but they're just so fun to have for a rainy day they're enjoyable you're gonna hear me say they're just so fun to have over and over again so i'll try not to say it but just so you know these are all really fun to have another thing is an imagine ink set these are even a good like stocking stuffer because they're smaller these you know it's basically just a water pen or brush if you will and you are just they're coloring it in it's reusable these are amazing to keep in a diaper bag whether for restaurants for church for anywhere that you're going to want your kid to kind of sit still ish perfect we've had so many of them over the years and there's multiple different brands like some of them are refillable little like paint brushes with water some of them are like a uh almost marker that you can't refill. So you have to like buy packs of them, which they're still cool and they're great, but they are different. And I feel like Genevieve likes both, but they are very different feeling, but the same vibe. Another thing are reusable, restickable sticker sets. These were new to me as of like a year ago, I wanna say, and they're so cool. So the ones we've used are like puffy stickers, so they're easy to take on and off. And there's usually like a little scene, they've got all different kinds, like dinosaurs, castles, whatever and they can put the stickers on the scene they can dress the little you know princess or pirate or whatever and i love that they're restickable they really are and so it's one of those things again that's great to keep in the diaper bag but they're just fun <laughs> i told myself i wouldn't say it they're just fun <laughs> i'm already annoying myself okay okay this is one for real this is our ace in the hole it usually lives at the bottom of the diaper bag so she doesn't see it but when we really need it we pull it out and it is this erasable doodle set. It comes with this pack of like eight or 10 really small markers and you're drawing on this like, not polyester, but like plasticky page and there's a bunch of them and 
it's just fun. I can't, I don't know what any of it is, but it's so fun. And all you need to erase it is like a wet paper towel or a wet, wet cloth, whatever. And so again, at restaurants, church, etc. It is so amazing, it's so fun. I'm pretty sure that one comes with stencils as well. So it's just one of those things that it is a great time consumer and it's reusable over and over and over again. You will never go wrong with a bubble machine. We finally, we were so tired of, you know, blowing the bubbles and you get, it drips down your hand and it just drives you nuts, you know? But bubbles are fun and kids love bubbles. And so we finally bought like a $25 bubble machine this past summer. It's so fun. You just fill it up plug it in, turn it on, and it just constantly produces bubbles. She'll dance around, we'll play music outside, and it's safe, and we can just sit and relax, drink our coffee. Like, what a concept. So, totally worth the 20 to $30 you might spend on it. She absolutely loves it, and anytime it's like time to get it out, she's all excited. So, another like kind of writing thing is this LCD writing tablet. They have a million versions on Amazon. I'll link the one, the specific one we have, because we've had it for years and it's still working perfectly. Great for car rides, plane travel, because um, it's really, really small. And again, you just, you can draw on it with the little pencil thing it comes with, like a stylus, if you will. It's attached to it, so you can't lose it, which is nice. And you just push a button to erase it. So it's kind of one of those things that's the gift that keeps on giving. She can use over and over again. Um, we've played like tic-tac-toe on it, and that works well too. I literally was talking to my mom earlier today, and I was telling her what video I was going to film, and she said, oh, you got to mention magnet tiles. I'm like, I know. I mention it way too often, but it is like the number one toy in this household. Uh, we have the brand Picasso Tiles instead of like the Magnet Tiles brand. I think they're slightly cheaper. There's also other off brands on Amazon if you want to save more money, but we love them. They're basically these little like kind of see-through colored tiles and you can, they magnetize to each other by its side. And so you can build all kinds of stuff with it. We'll build little castles or houses with it. It's fun to knock it down. We also, they sell like a storage bin that folds out and so you can play on it if you want, but then it folds back into the box with the lid. Having a container for them, no matter what kind, have a container for them. We used to try to keep them in the box that it comes with, and we'd have you have to like organize it. Way too much work. Just get a bin that you can just throw them all in. And yeah, I enjoy playing with magnet tiles. Maybe that's why I don't. <laughs> she does too, but like I personally like them. So one thing that the girls might be getting this Christmas is a set of wooden blocks. We were at our friend's house recently, and she has two girls, and they just had these wooden blocks. And I feel, I don't know why that like, it was just so simple but the girls loved them like oh, i had felicity was over there and she's nomming on one and Gigi's building out of them and it was just so simple and so fun and so i was like that's one of those gifts that you you buy once and you kind of just have forever and any age can play with them and i like that you could get like rainbow colored ones if you want more of neutral stuff you can just get the wood colored ones and yeah it's one of those that you can just use year after year i feel like one of the most popular things that a lot of kids like various ages are the little scrubby i think it's crayola brand but they're like little animals that you can color on with the markers it comes with but then you can actually scrub it clean with water and so you can color it over and over again it really is cute there's so many different kinds um i feel like if you get a smaller one it'd be a good stocking stuffer um, but of course they have bigger packs and stuff but that's one that i know a lot of the little girls in my life and boys like and they enjoy and a lot of them have asked for for Christmas this year. The one gift that we gave to one of my nieces that was such a hit that so many of them wanted the same blanket in like in subsequent birthdays is this glow in the dark blanket from Amazon. Who knew? It was, I literally bought it on a whim for thinking I think she'd like that. Such a hit you guys. So it's literally just a really big it's super soft blanket but it does glow in the dark. The little like unicorns or whatever it is that's on it glow in the dark. And it's just like a cute rainbow tie dye type thing. Such a hit, I who would have guessed? So I'm just saying don't overlook things like a blanket, especially one that might glow in the dark because kids are weird. <laughs> like that kind of stuff. Not that I, listen, I love a good throw blanket too, so I get it. But it was surprising how much they liked it. So I wanted to mention that here. Another thing that you might not think of that Genevieve got from Santa last year was a light up pillow. And there's a little button on it and it lights up and it's like a little star. She loved it. And so it's just one of those gifts that could be really cool and she'll turn it on at night and it's kind of like an extra little night light in there too. It's, it's cute. I was surprised at how nice it was. I don't know why I was surprised because Santa always brings nice things. Okay, a cool, nice tent. We had like a, a pop-up one that was like 15 or $20 on Amazon for years and she loved that thing. And I would still recommend it. I'll link it below because it was nice that you could fold it down and put it in a little thin bag and put it away for a while, pop it up when they want it. 
but that one eventually just got torn because she just loved on it so much. So we finally got rid of it. We upgraded to one that's more like canvas and it's got wood and it's so nice. It came with like little twinkle lights that can go on it. It is so cute, you guys. It looks so whimsical and I got it on Amazon. And it's nice too because you can just pull the sides in and it'll just have the wooden beams and you could just put it away in a closet and it really doesn't, I mean, it's tall, but it's, you know, when you put it all together, it's like this big. So we'll just kind of put it in the corner of her closet and then when she's like, can we get the tent out again? We'll have it out for a few weeks and then put it away. So I really appreciate how easy the tear up and set down, tear, <laughs> I knew I'd say that wrong. Set up and tear down is, but it looks like a Pinteresty Instagrammy dream for like a little kid's bedroom. So one thing we discovered last year, cause someone had gotten, I think Genevieve this as a gift, one of our friends is a sticker by number book. They have varying degrees of difficulty. So like younger kids like Genevieve, but also older ones. And it's literally exactly as it sounds. Instead of color by number, it's sticker by number. So for the harder ones, the stickers are much smaller and it's harder to find. But it is so cool. At the end, it looks like a beautiful mosaic, but it's like, you know, a picture of a unicorn or whatever. So I didn't know that existed. Now I do. I think they're so cool. The kid in me had a lot of fun making this gift guide, you guys. Kinetic Sand, another one that as adults, we enjoy playing with her. And um, it's just cool. We I would recommend if you're going to buy Kinetic Sand, it's the kind of sand that doesn't feel like regular sand, like on a beach. And it's not quite like squand, although maybe it is, but it's just that sand that kind of sticks together and it's just fun to play with. I, I can't explain it. If you've never touched it, you have to touch it. It's, you will love it. <laughs> but uh, it's such a great sensory activity, but she'll have little, you know, matchbox cars in there and her little figurines and she'll build a whole little thing out of it. Um, we'll put like small sand toys in there, but I would recommend if you're gonna do it, get a container that seals shut for it. So the Kinetic Sand brand sells one. That's what we have where it's kind of like a kit. I'll link below, which is nice because you can shut it and you could shake that thing around and that sand and the toys are not going to go anywhere. They're not going to come out. So that is huge. And I feel like a game changer versus trying to put the sand in a bag and try to seal it. It's so much easier. So I love that stuff. It will be the gift that keeps on giving for years. And what's cool is if the sand ever gets, you know, super old or whatever, after a few years, you can always just buy new sand and dump the old sand, you know what I mean? But still use the container and toys. Another hit that I never expected to be such a hit was this busy book. I'm pretty sure I got it on Amazon. I'm thinking about getting her another one with different stuff, but basically it's this book that as you open it up, there's different um, Velcro things you can do. So you can practice like different types of weather. You can put your alphabet letters in order, your numbers in order, counting things. Um, a puzzle, like there's so many different things, organizing things by size, categorizing types of food, so many different things. Genevieve absolutely loves it. And so we keep it up top so she doesn't lose all the pieces. And we have like this little bin above her closet that says adult supervision, which just makes me giggle. But anyway, so anything up there is something that she really needs to play with an adult so we don't lose, you know, it's tons of little pieces, but she loves it. And anytime we get it down, she will play with it for hours. And even the front, it comes with dry erase markers in the front of it. You can color with dry erase and then erase it. So it's one of those random things that when you get it, it almost looks homemade, but it is amazing. <laughs> so also any of the Melissa and Doug like wooden play sets, they've got ones where like they make cookies or it's like a little restaurant. There's so many different kinds and they really are such high quality and they really promote like that kind of pretend play. And so I think those are fun. That's something that usually like each year we'll get her one or two of those sets or she'll get them for her birthday. And they're fun because then we can play with her too. And they're well made enough that they'll last for a while as well. Play pods, I did mention in my first gift guide of the year here, um, but of the year, of the month, you know what I mean, of the season. <laughs> Uh, but I want to mention them again because they're so cool. They're sold on Etsy. They're little bags and they have varying ages. So if you go to the Etsy shop, you'll see there are so many different kinds and each activity has its own little zippered container. And again, their whole thing, like I think behind the brand is that they wanted to give different activities that were maybe somewhat educational, but still fun for a kid that you could have for those moments like in the doctor's office, the restaurant, church, whatever, where you could keep them busy. And so again, those are ones that we keep up in the adult supervision so they don't all get mixed up. But again, those are the things that she loves when we pull them down. She's like, yes, can we do the bead one where we make the little necklace? I'm like, heck yeah, girl, we can. Uh, but now they make ones for even younger kids. So I have some that actually they sent to me, thank you, um, that I use for, I will be using for Felicity when she gets a little bit bigger. So I just think it's cool that it spans a lot of ages and it's just a really cool gift, especially if you were getting 
this gift for maybe it's not for your own kids it's for someone else's kid that's a win because it's a gift for the parents too it gives them a little bit a little bit of time <laughs> so for any kid these little boo-boo friends are so cute you put them in the fridge or freezer i actually should look i always keep mine in the freezer and i think it says fridge but it's been fine <laughs> But uh, these are so cute because if a kid is holding, you know, one of these on a little boo-boo or whatever, it's nice that the other side of it is soft so it's not super cold on their hand. You're not having to go find like a washcloth to put around the ice pack. It's perfect. We just leave them in there. They can use them when they need. They're cold when they need and they're just cute. Let's talk baby stuff. This is like the world I'm in right now. And so we definitely have some favorites that have stood the test of time that we used, you know, four years ago when Genevieve was a baby and now we're using for Felicity. Number one, the Indestructible books. That is like the brand. I think it's literally called Indestructible. And they sell a million kinds of these on Amazon. I've also seen them like in bookstores. They are amazing. They can chew on them. I think you can even like put them in the washer or like the dish. There's something like a way you can wash them. I've never done it. But it's amazing because they can chew on them, bend them, try to rip them. These books are indestructible. There's no joke. But it's nice because especially when you have a younger baby, they can play with it and fold it and chew on it and not worry about, you know, board books are great and I have a ton of them. But if they're playing with it and it drops on their head, you know what I mean? It's a little heavy. It might hurt. Whereas these are real, you know, thin paper. So they're amazing. I don't know what the magic these pages are made of, but they are, like I said, indestructible that's something i a lot of times when i go to a baby shower i'll get stuff on the registry but i'll usually buy a couple of the indestructible books to throw in with the gift because they're amazing but a really heavy book but they're amazing for when they get a little bit older are the poke a dot books they're these books some of them are like counting or whatever and they literally have these little parts that you can push and it pops them so as they're counting or as they're doing whatever it's that sensory where they get to push the little things and then you flip to the next page and you get to push them again so cute we have like two or three of them um heaviest books you'll ever own it's <laughs> it's kind of funny uh but they really are so cute and honestly genevieve still enjoys them too she'll go through and pop them even at four and a half but of course any of the like touch and feel books any of the like lift a flap books we at least at the age she's at the lift a flap books that are felt flaps are a hit she loves them because she can actually grasp them at this age and lift them versus like the, the paper ones that are a little harder until they're a little bit older. The felt ones actually that I need to add to my list. I might get her some for Christmas because we have one and it's a Christmas one. It's so cute, um, but I want to see what other ones they have. So if you've got a kid that's like in the tummy time stage, one of the water play mats, those are amazing. If you have a kid, I mean, most young babies just don't like being on their tummy. Like we all know that's just the way it is. So anything that'll like kind of entertain them even for like 10 more seconds, you know what I mean? Get 20 seconds of tummy time, you know? <laughs> um, like the water play mats are great. I feel like Genevieve loved it a little more than Felicity did, but those are amazing. They sell those on Amazon. So like a trifold tummy time toy where it'll sit and it's got like a mirror, but then you can flip it and it's got like crinkly pages. It's got like high contrast images. Those are great. I'll link the one we have on Amazon. Um, she'll still play with that just because it's crinkly, you know. She is definitely into things she can hold and put in her mouth that are a little thicker now. And so like little stackers, one thing we're getting for her for Christmas this year is like a wooden set of like three stackers, I think is so cute, so cute. So that's one that um, I just think it's, it'd be pretty in her room, but also useful because she really does like it. And then as she gets a little bit older, she can actually work on stacking them in the right order and stuff like that. For now, she'll just chew on it <laughs> and bang them together, of course, and probably eventually start throwing them across the room at me. <laughs> so just in general, um, Love Every is sold at Target. I was mentioning that in another video. Um, it's one of our favorite brands, but they're like play kits we absolutely love, but they are pricey. So if you've wanted to try their products, they have them at Target now, a lot of them, and they're a little bit more of a palatable price point, I think, for a lot of people. And again, they're really well made. They're designed by people that know about learning development in different ages for babies and kids. So I definitely recommend Love Every there. I also really like the Melissa and Doug. Any other wooden toys for babies too. I say wooden, I, I mean, it is what it is. I have plastic toys in our house too. It's not like I'm someone that doesn't. Um, we have electronic toys too. Like we, we kind of just have a mix. But wooden is nice because I do feel like it lasts a long time and so that is a piece of it that you know if we are thinking about maybe having more i don't we don't know <laughs> um but it just seems to last a little bit longer this little sensory grip toy she really likes and it's kind of it's so funny looking but she loves it because she can kind of 
pull on one part of it and the rest will pull out and you can pull it on either side. She can chew on them. It's kind of silly looking. So I think she just enjoys playing with it. And I think as she gets a little bit stronger and has better grip, she'll like it even more, but it's kind of a unique toy I saw on Amazon that I think is fun. I'll link some of our favorite teethers depending on your baby's age. You know, you might not even be getting them many Christmas stuff, you know. Um, I, I think we're gonna get her stuff even though she has no idea what's going on, but you know, things that I've been like thinking about getting her anyway. But some of our favorite teethers I'll link below because two of them are like top tier. She, for whatever reason, the shape of it and the, the girth and all that was so perfect that they are just like, those are the teethers she always wants and that always calm her down. So I'll link those below if you're in the market for teethers. Soft alphabet cards. So we actually bought these for Genevieve. We still have them. They're real soft. It's like a little set comes in a bag and there's 26 of them. So it's the every letter of the alphabet but she loves them because she can, again, kind of bend them. She can ball them up. She can chew on them, whatever. They're not gonna hurt anything. They're really soft. But then as she gets older, like with Genevieve, we would kind of lay them out and we'd talk about the letters and she'd try to find them. We still we still do that. She gets into Felicity's room all the time and gets all of her old toys and brings them into her room. <laughs> She's got a long road with sharing once Felicity gets a little bit older. But anyway, the little soft alphabet cards are so, so cute and uh, useful for many ages. <laughs> this was a sleeper that someone in our life got for Felicity and it is so soft. We've tried a lot of like, Kite Baby and um, Little Sleepies and all of those. And I honestly like all of them, but we found A, we found some dupes for Kite Baby on Amazon and it's a two pack and it is like, the two pack is still cheaper than the price of one of the Kite Baby sleepers and y'all, they are exactly the same, exactly the same. So I'll link that just as like a little addendum here. Um, and then there's this other sleeper. This is the one the friends got us. It's from Aiden and Anai, which is a very popular baby brand. But I have not heard anyone talk about these sleepers. They are so stretchy, just like all of the popular brands, but they're really soft. They're like kind of, it's not fleece, but it's like just like this soft, it's different than the all the other ones, but they're so soft. They're so stretchy. I feel like even though some of them she's too small for, they still stretch and fit her just fine. And so I wanted to mention that as well because they're kind of an underrated product. And one last thing, if you're in the baby market, Magnetic Me, their sleepers are really, really popular, right? But they're really expensive, 30, 40 bucks, depending. And I know you can get some sales sometimes, but they're great because they're just magnetic. So especially middle of the night diaper changes to be able to just unmagnetize it real fast, change the diaper and it, the magnets just find themselves. Well, we discovered a dupe brand from Bye Bye Baby. So I'll link it below because it's like, I think less than 50% of the price and they are just as good. You know, I've tried both, they're just as good. So I'll link that below if you wanna save some money. Or if you like are buying a gift for someone that's maybe expecting, that would be a really good one. I do have, by the way, a um, what to buy for babies, whether it's for a registry or what to put on your registry. A whole video I did not that long ago that I, I give a lot of these kinds of dupes and stuff in it. So if you wanna check that out, I will link it below because that video was so much fun and I hope it's helped a lot of you guys as you've maybe created registries, bought for people, whatever. Anyway, my throat is getting tired from talking so much. <laughs> So I know that was a lot, um, but I, I so enjoyed doing this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching it. Maybe it helped you think of an idea for a kid or baby in your life, whether it's yours or someone else's, grandkids, nieces and nephews, a friend's kid, whatever. Um, I find myself from time to time just going to Amazon and typing in like, gifts for three-year-old girl. <laughs> and so hopefully this video helped you not have to do that. Maybe I gave you an idea that Amazon wouldn't have come up with. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I love you all. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope you subscribe. Check out my other gift guide videos I've done. Like I said, I did an Amazon gift guide video without kids. So it was everything else under the sun, household favorites, etc. And then I did yet another gift guide for things that just aren't on Amazon. So I hope you check them out and support me and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.